Welcome to Entertainment UK, a company that believes that health and safety is of paramount importance. A company that's committed to conducting business in a way that protects the health and safety of our employees, visitors, the general public, and you, our contractors. Watching this video in conjunction with your induction training aims to ensure that you're familiar with all the Entertainment UK site rules and fire procedures. These rules and procedures are for your benefit, whether you're working on the production floor or in the offices. Failure to follow or comply with any of these procedures could result in you being asked to leave the site. Before coming onto any Entertainment UK site to work, contractors must ensure the following. Risk assessments and method statements have been submitted and approved. All contractors' statutory obligations are understood and any hazards relating to the work to be carried out is relayed to Entertainment UK. Any plant or equipment brought on site by the contractor is their sole responsibility and should only be used by trained personnel. Also, all equipment and plant should have the relevant testing certification and be made available for inspection. All contractors must report to on-site security to gain access to any Entertainment UK site. Here you'll be signed in and instructed as to where you can park company vehicles. If your work is to take over three months, you may be issued with an ID card. This allows you through the entrance barriers and into the building. Other points to take into consideration when coming on site are CCTV cameras with 24-hour recording facilities are situated throughout the site. We also operate a random stop and search procedure on all contractors and employees. A rigidly enforced no smoking policy operates throughout all our sites, except in specifically designated areas. You may only enter areas that you've been given permission to access. Areas such as the roof, the interlock gates, the energy centre, the yard and all electrical equipment areas are strictly out of bounds. Staff canteens are available to you for hot food, drinks and snacks, but for hygiene reasons, hot food is not permitted outside the canteen. Food is also not allowed in the operation of DCs. If you are going to make use of our canteens, please ensure that you're wearing suitable, clean clothing. Wearing dirty or soiled work clothes could restrict your admission to these areas. Discmans, Walkmans, mini disc players, mini discs, videotapes, DVDs, CDs, Game Boys, toys and cameras are forbidden on site, as are non-prescription drugs or alcohol. Any accident, near misses or dangerous incidents, no matter how small or trivial that they may appear, must be reported in the accident book, which you'll find in security. These occurrences should also be reported to the Entertainment UK manager controlling your project. Contractors are wholly responsible for their own first aid cover while on site. However, an appointed Entertainment UK first aider can assist and offer treatment in case of an accident. But this is given in good faith and Entertainment UK accepts no liability. Noise is to be kept to a minimum and shouting or any foul language is not permitted on site. Certain tasks such as hot work, live electrical work, confined space working, working at height, working with pressurized pipelines and working on certain mechanical handling equipment all require permits to work. This ensures safe working practices and can be issued through your Entertainment UK point of contact. Finally, all contractors should be kitted out in the correct personal protective equipment. This should be supplied by the contractor. Safety footwear and high-vis jackets must be worn at all times by everyone while in the operational areas. The high-vis jacket should be clearly marked with the name of the contracting company clearly displayed. This also applies when wearing overalls. Where necessary or specifically requested, hearing and eye protection must be worn. Safety harnesses must be worn when working above open spaces or exposed heights greater than 2 metres. In fact, any contractor undertaking work that carries the risk of injury from falling should wear the appropriate fall arrest equipment. Once on site and involved in your particular job, there are still health and safety issues to be aware of. If you're working on any form of electrical installation, you should be a competent electrical technician up to the requirements of the Electricity at Work Regulations 1989. 
and all work carried out must comply with current IEE regulations. All tools and equipment must work on 110 volt supply. Portable tools, when not in use, should be disconnected and stored away safely. Under no circumstances should live equipment be left lying around. Leads and cables must be routed in a safe manner and kept as short as possible. On no account should you work on any live circuits without authorization from Entertainment UK and a relevant permit to work. Know how to lift correctly. More injuries are caused by incorrect lifting than any other work-related injury. Any heavy or awkward loads that may need to be moved should have been identified in your risk assessment before you started the project. Remember, if it looks too heavy, don't lift it. Get help. Talking of lifting, please be aware that forklifts operate on this site. You might see them, but the drivers may not see you. So be vigilant. Contractors are not permitted to operate forklifts. Working at heights will require you to supply scaffolding or ladders. Ladders must be in good condition, regularly inspected and have a registration of inspection available. Scaffolding should comply with all the standard legislative requirements and, where necessary, be earth. It should also only be erected, altered and dismantled by trained and certified personnel. If the scaffolding is incomplete or unsafe, the contractor must make this very clear with appropriate notices. The location of any scaffolding must first be authorised by Entertainment UK and, once erected, should not be moved or altered without notification. As already mentioned, any contractor working on scaffolding must wear the correct fall arrest PPE. Once a contractor's area of work has been designated, it's down to them to supply and erect the required warning signs and barriers. Any areas of danger, openings or live machinery must be protected. It must be clear that the area beyond the signs or barriers is restricted access, only allowing admittance to the contractors working in the area. Any hazardous substances or materials brought onto the site should be cosh assessed. This assessment and prevalent safety data sheets should be supplied and agreed by Entertainment UK before work commences. All tools, plant, equipment and cables you bring onto site must carry the minimum risk of fire. Entertainment UK has strict fire precautions and procedures in place and they must be followed. Flammable material or substance liable to produce fumes must be cosh assessed. Likewise, petroleum products and other flammable liquids must be used in accordance with the highly flammable liquid and liquefied petroleum gas regulations. If your task involves the use of gas-fired or oxygen and acetylene equipment, then you must provide a suitable portable fire extinguisher at the work location and be suitably trained to use it. When any equipment or vessel that contains flammable liquids or gases is not being used, all outlet valves must be shut and then stored in a safe and clearly marked storage area. All fire exits and routes must be kept clear at all times. Should you come across a fire, do not try to fight it. Raise the alarm immediately by breaking the nearest call point glass. Security will respond accordingly and call the fire services. You must then leave by the nearest fire exit in a calm and sensible manner and report to the closest assembly point as instructed by your Entertainment UK point of contact. In the event of a fire or an emergency, do not use the lifts. Do not stop to collect belongings. Do not take unnecessary personal risks. Remain at the assembly point until the all clear is given. If anyone you know is missing, report it immediately to security at the assembly point. As we said at the beginning of this presentation, your health and safety is paramount to us. And together with your cooperation and our regulations and procedures, we can ensure that your involvement on this site is a safe and pleasant one. If there's anything you haven't understood or are not sure about, please talk to your Entertainment UK point of contact. They'll be more than happy to help with any inquiries. Thanks for watching and keep safe.